We have just come through a year in which our constitutional order was put through its severe stress. The commencement of work on the 8th Parliament of the Fourth Republic had not been in the most edifying tradition. But no one could have expected that the year would conclude with an honorable house degenerated into a brawl with very honorable members putting aside their debating skills in order to exhibit their punching prowess. Zero. The stress on our highest institutions of state and on the, on the nation's side have shown clearly that we cannot afford to be complacent or take anything for granted, both now and the future. Such constant introspection is necessary if we are to avoid the unexpected and secure the future for generations to come. When it comes to matters relating to what is referred to as the fourth estate, we tend to treat it with less than the seriousness it, it deserves. After all, we do not elect them, nor do we have to worry about how much our taxes they need for their upkeep. Nonetheless, the role the media plays is, very, is every inch as critical as any of the institutions within the body politic. Zero. Every professional journalist knows that his greatest asset, indeed the greatest asset of the profession, is credibility. Where the momentum of politics may be leading, the peace and stability of our nation must be, must be inviolable. Zero. The media will be do, doing a great service to the nation and indeed to our humanity if they can create an environment which encourages consensus building to help power to help lower the causes of tension within the body politic.